So the practical one of unit three, first one is finding the molar volume of a gas. Molar volume means uh, it's a volume occupied by a gas, one mole of a gas, we call that as a molar volume of a gas. So molar volume of any gas is at in given condition and pressure and temperature is same as the Avogadro's law. So how much volume the gas occupy, uh, one mole of a gas occupy, we call that as molar volume. How we carry out this experiment? So we have to use those reagent or those reactant which can release or which can give out the gas a reaction in which a gas is given off that can be used to work out the molar volume. So set up the equipment as shown in the diagram. This is how we set up. We connect a gas syringe and instead of gas syringe, you can have a setup so that you connect a gas over the water. But that is valid only for those gases which are insoluble in water. If the gas is soluble in water, then it won't be useful. Because when you are collecting the gas over the surface of the water, then you can see the reaction occur because there will be bubbles of the gas and that will be visible to you when the reaction occur. But it is not valid for all type of gases, it's only valid the gases which are insoluble. So we place 30 cm cube of ethanoic acid in the test tube. So ethanoic acid is there is a test tube. And we have a marble chips, calcium carbonate are there, they're quickly placed and a bump. And same thing, you can also use hydrogen peroxide, but that hydrogen peroxide by itself it decompose into water and oxygen. So oxygen is also a gas. So those reactions which can emit out or give out gas can be used to determine the molar volume or using those experiment, we can determine the volume of the gas. So measure the volume of a gas produced with a gas syringe make few measurements, repeat and increase the mass of a marble chip by around 0 0.05 gram each time. Then how to work out the molar volume, like we will have the equation. So molar volume is a volume of the gas which we collect divided by the moles of the gas. So how we'll get the volume of a gas, the volume of a gas as we are using a gas syringe here. As we are using a gas syringe, so volume of the gas we can measure by using the gas syringe. And how to get the moles, the formula is moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass. So directly we will not get the moles of the gas, so first we will get the moles of the limiting reagent, like example. If you use ethanoic acid as a limiting reagent, then ethanoic acid, but normally solid will be used as an axis and the aqueous will be limiting so that to make sure all of the acid has reacted. So we'll get the moles of ethanoic acid and using the moles of ethanoic acid, we can get the moles of carbon dioxide. So we'll have the moles and the volume and volume divided by moles will get the molar volume. So what are the key points here? We have to wait until we don't observe any bubbles or effervescence. Then do not use too much calcium carbonate. If you use so, <coughs> because what will happen if we use too much calcium carbonate, maybe the volume of the gas which is produced here might be more than the volume, the maximum volume with the gas syringe can measure so then it won't be accurate so we cannot use too much calcium carbonate as well and weak acid is used so that the reaction is slower and means there is a like meaning there is a less gas loss between the marble chip and attaching a bump so sometimes they ask like why we are not using a sulfuric acid for this reaction why weak acid is used because in the beginning the bunk was not placed. So you put the solid and then you place the bunk. Or you add an acid and then you place the bunk. So the moment you are placing a bunk, that moment also some of the reaction occur and the gas might escape. If it was a strong acid, instantly the reaction will occur and the gas will escape or go out from the flask. So that's why we are using a weak acid so that the gas, the amount of the gas which escape will be minimized. 
An alternative method could be used like attaching a marble chip with a string in the bunk. So what we can do, we instead of, we can have a, for place a bunk initially and then place a test tube and the marble chips are in the inside the test tube and we could connect a cotton wool here or a thread. The moment we remove the thread, that will enter the flask and the reaction will occur. Or we can also use a tap funnel here so when we use a tap funnel and then add the acid so we minimize like from here we add an acid so we may minimize the loss as well so using the volume of a gas given out divided by the mass, we will get the molar volume. What are the errors in this experiment? What could be the error? If using a syringe, the plunger may not be free to move. So it must be lubricated like because uh, the, the, ga the gas syringe, the plunger might stuck. So that's why we should lubricate. Carbon dioxide is slightly soluble. So exact volume is not measured. Because carbon dioxide gas, which is released here, it's not completely the same amount which is released because the moment the carbon dioxide gas released, some of the carbon dioxide gas might dissolve. Remaining will come out, but some might dissolve, so the volume will reduce. Some of the gas escaped during the addition of the marble chip and sealing the tube. The bung may not be tight, like these bungs might not be tight enough, so some of the gas might escape. Transferring the solid, it is important to weigh the tube containing a marble chip before addition and reweight after. Because this method of weighing by difference ensure that amount of calcium carbonate that end up in the reaction mixture is known. So we should, because we want to find if we are not measuring the concentration and volume of acid, so we should know the mass of calcium carbonate reacting. So we should know the mass of the calcium carbonate before and after and taking a difference we'll get how much mass is reacted from that mass we'll get the moles and moles of calcium carbonate we can get the moles of carbon dioxide so these are the sources of the errors which can arise in this experiment which is finding the molar volume of a gas